Hi guys, so we've been to, I've been to Home Bargains and I've done a bit of a video for you. That's come up, but before I do the video to Home Bargains, in Home Bargains they were selling this. Let's see if I can show it to you better. That is right, Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Maynard's <laughs> Spooky Gums. So we're going to quickly try them before the video starts. So let's have a look, Cam, one second while I open them. This is my delicate way of trying to open it. Them. Oh. Right, smell them. What are we thinking? They, sh they smell like, um, what's it today? Wait, let me look at them. Wait, wait. Oh, yeah, I do think I'm thinking of what they smell like. They smell like fruit pastels. Do they feel more black currently? Do you think they smell more black currently? That's yeah, what I'm, I'm thinking. Smell... Right, okay, you can try a green spider. I want to try a coffee. Green. little green spider. Mama! You can have the green spider, bro. Yeah, the green spider. Um, that's a book. I think that's supposed to be a book. Probably a spell book. Not a green one. Okay, I'll put that down there. Right, hang on. Hang on. Is there, have you both got anything but a green? There's a coffee, not a green. <gasps> another green oh, one. Oh, I'm back. Oh, I will green. <coughs> Sorry about. That. Mm. And here we have a wiggly worm. Oh no. A wiggly worm. <laughs> Wait. Hang on. I thought we were saying else. Oh, no, another wiggly worm. That's good. Are you meant to try it yet? A green spider. I think we've only got two colours. It looks like it's just green and blue by the looks of it. Oh, is that red? There you go. This is like a reddish. There you go. You can try the red coffin. Oh and I'm going to try a wiggly worm. Here we go. There's red, green. Just tell me what it tastes like. Dead, dead. That's pretty good. That's right, dead, so dead. The Maynard's Beetlejuice Spooky Gums are really good. Alright, on with the video. Now I've got rid of the kids. Let's see what's actually inside the shop. So here we've got some really nice sort of kids' baby grows there. Really cute ghosty ones. We've got these lovely little cat heres here that go with the cat costume. And here's that sort of old school punk rock kid school uniform thing. Sort of the school of rock stuff. Quite nice. Oh, look, some, he's a back here. Jack Skeleton is back. Nightmare Before Christmas sort of like face masks when you sleep the wire covers that people have on planes and they don't they use them for bed and that here's some more costumes now, i had noticed all of these costumes that you see hanging up here were the exact same ones they had last year there's nothing really new this year that's kick-ass werewolf look at that i do like the, the image on the front of that werewolf. i do it's good but i think it's blank on the back which is a shame there's a high school musical no not high school musical sorry that's um monster high here's these but now i make monster bears with these masks i stick them on teddy bears and make like monster bear props they're fantastic here's a skeleton t-shirt i believe that, that that exact thing last year as well this reminds me of spinal tap if anyone's ever seen this is spinal tap the people has got a skeleton on his thing he's like this is my exact skeleton but on a t-shirt but it's spelled a very good film if you just watched it um again some creepy masking i saw these last year sort of a gandalf mask there the old school wizard here you've got um scary's clown some meat cleavers to add to your ha your your um costume for whatever you're gonna be. You've got wigs. There we go, and a knife with a blood spattered knife. Some more masks. People just ran in front of the floor. Now this is their little character they've got here. His name is Gary the Ghost. It's like home bargain signature sort of character for Halloween. And I think that's a really clever idea. Sort of kind of your own sort of like iconic logo but i think he's really cute he's basically like a, a cushion with this like throw on top but it kind of works well and i've recently made like a little video of how to make ghosts not like that but like your similar ghost thing so that works here's a lovely little face i just feel it's probably a nice soft feel you might actually this pillow like, so these are all i guess they're getting this theme of this sort of gary the ghost character because it does like the ghost of the pumpkin does sort of come up a lot here these are those little um, hand warmer things. You know, they've got like sand in them. You put them in the microwave. They're quite cute, I thought. And there's a cat version of it. And that is a hot water bottle. And I'm about to show you that by cleverly opening the back and revealing that it is actually a hot water bottle. It's quite a nice little one, that. So if you can sort of hold in your stomach in the winter, you sort of keep it nice and warm. Not right now, though, because we're in the middle of August. It's a heat wave. Here we've got some spider webs, and obviously these are controversial because people say you shouldn't use them because of birds and stuff. I don't use them in the garden anymore, but I've never really seen birds thinking them. There's some nice pumpkins there. 
That's General Wormwood from Watership Down. If you've ever seen that film, you know how terrifying he is. There's some nice witch's hats, some sort of 90s style uh, neon ones. These are nice little door hanger sort of reefs, the Halloween reef. And there's a gonk. Obviously, gonks are everywhere now for every season. Got some... These, I like these. I like these lights. I might have to get some, but I've kind of got this thing where I want to get lots of them and put them out. But I've also recently learned how to make my own version of that, which might actually look better, but I'm going to try that later. If it works, I'll send a do a video for you guys, show how I did it. Obviously, the skeleton pets. Now, recently, I saw someone had done a pet in zoo with just these in it as a Halloween decoration. I it was great. There, we've got some uh, Halloween reefs, more tinsley style ones. That's a big spy decoration, sort of hangs down. Zombie tape. A bag of lots of spiders. Now, this is cool. I got this guy last year. He's like a butler that stands there, and he, he as you sort of touch the tray, he sort of says some stuff. But she's got a witch version this year, which I've actually bought myself. There she is. Reminds me of one of the Terror Hawks. If you remember the Terror Hawks back in the day, that is one of the Terror Hawks, and she was absolutely terrifying. But again, it's a nice little witch. But I think I can do a bit of work on that to make it look a bit better with a bit of makeup stuff, but we'll see. Some white clean tablecloths. Good for if you're doing crafting with the kids. She can have it out during Halloween, do some Halloween crafts, and just clean it all off. Got some nice little goblet things there. Again, I'm trying to show you the prices. This is a nice little drinks um, dispenser that you can use. And this one here comes with a couple of cups in it as well. Great for Halloween kids' parties. Just leaving on the table. Got the um, spider dishes there. Now, these spider web plates are quite nice. They're actually made of like a plastic. But they're quite cool. I'm not sure why I'm showing you the barcode. But for some reason, I thought it would be good if you want to see it. Um, these are again these are plastic plates well good for kids this one is actually ceramic this ghost plate is ceramic. And i think that's quite fetching i do like that little ghost plate these ones i think these are plastic again they're sort of like, for like chips and dips i quite cool it's a chip and dip bowl isn't it really so you put your chips and you put a little dip in the middle like a little dip in and that different flavored chips may around the outside or crisps as I, we like to call them some reason i've turned american um these are lovely bowls that pumpkin one reminds me of Sam from Trick or Treat, which is a fantastic movie about Halloween. I think these are some more cloths. That is nice, that little um, table mat thing. These are some little jars. Oh, I thought with those, you could put some lights in those. I'm make a little feature out of them. Some nice little cups there. I put a spell on you. This is from Hocus Pocus. Which is blue. I don't know why I went northern then. Um, those ghost mugs, I love. I absolutely love it. I'm going to actually get myself one of those. I'm going to go back into the store and get one. I don't know why I didn't when I was there. Some balls there. Oh, look, here we go. We've got ourselves these. These were really popular a couple of years ago. Everyone wanted those. They're like little glass candy jars, the pumpkins. That's for cooking yourself some pumpkin soup, I suppose. And here we've got some eyeball fizzers. I think these are obviously the ones you put in the bath, like the bath bombs. There's various different ones there. On the, these are these little eyeballs. You know, you used, I used to when I was a kid, you used to wind them up and they sort of walk and that. I don't know where. They're sort of from the 80s, they are. I don't know where they're about. Um, some wax melts, some nice pumpkin spice scented ones. And more, more scented cans. To be honest with you, the, the candles in TK Match smell a lot stronger than these ones do. They also got triple the price, so. But yeah, I love. But to be honest, the, the deco again, the decorations on the candles. You can easily hollow those out once you finish using it as a candle, and put something else in there and make like a little Halloween sort of other decoration out of it. And that's sort of basically it's a pumpkin spice smelling one. More sort of all me put now these. Are, it's almost like the colours have been reversed, like negative colours, but. Nice little candles, nice little jar. Again, you can hollow that out and just keep it forever as like a decoration to put on your shelf. These are little wax melts as well. 99p ain't too bad. Oh, this is nice. It's like a little book of spells, but when you open it, you've got wax melts in it. And I think that's quite nice. And it's sort of how to make different fla uh, flavours, how <laughs> to make different scents, I suppose, by mixing two different ones together. But that, I think, is quite nice. It's quite a nice lifted gift. That's like almost, almost like a Christmas present you give someone like a stocking filler for Halloween. Some scream uh, beer pong. Beer, beer ping pong? I don't know what call it. Is that where you throw the ball in the thing and drink the shot? There's some creepy spiders. 
Where it would be Halloween without some creepy spiders. These are nice little slinkies. I suppose you could, if you don't want to give out sweets this year for Halloween, you can give out those as trick or treaters, I suppose. This is a dog toy for playing tug of war with your dog with. See, the Halloween do pet thing has really taken off. I know it's in, it was a TK Maxx, they had loads of dog stuff. They've got it in the range as well. Pets Halloween stuff has really taken off this year. It was there last year as well, but I've seen it in a lot more this year. Obviously, the dog costumes, they've been around for a couple of years now. And some dog bandanas as well. But then you could use them yourself, I suppose. Ways well, to make it sing out of that, I suppose. And like some ghost, even little tennis balls have been Halloweened up. These are still like these. These are like the little bat wings for your dog. Again, more dog toys. This is a nice little craft player. So you can make like little bracelets and stuff and out of stuff. That, again, great for your kids at Halloween. Stuff like this. It's just before or after trick or treat, they can sit down with you and make some little crafty bits. Really make a day of it, you know? Or the weekend leading up to it. I don't know. Whatever you, whenever it is, you can always like do some lo lovely bits. Like, there you go. Stained glass window decorations. They're quite nice. Chalks. More crafty books. Now, this was fun. So, I've got this. You can see me here trying to work out what this does because it was something special. It lights up. And I'm trying to work out where the button is. And I'm literally just had my thumb on it. I'm still struggling. And, oh, there it is. So they basically just twinkle. These little lights that twinkle in the windows. That's a it's a notebook. Basically, it's a notebook that lights up, and I think that's quite nice. Same with these ghostly ones, like the eyes light up. But again, same different. A notebook that lights up. Got some little games, little uh, skeleton bingo game there, little Halloweeny bingo game. And then I found this book while I was walking around. It's a little um, puzzle craft book. That again, it's saying good to give your kids before Halloween. It's not that expensive. It's pretty decent. And that is the end of that video. So now I'm going to go back to me and the kids. And here we go. Okay, well, so I hope you like the video. They're munching around these sweets now. And um, yeah, so there's a lot of good stuff in Daddy, home bargains. A lot of the same Daddy. stuff from last year, I noticed. But you know, there's a few yeah. special things. I like the, the little character ghosts they've got going on there. Also, like some little bits in there as well. So, But I heard there's a lot more coming. So we'll have to wait for that. And I will tell you now, I actually did... I bought the witch. I bought the stand-up witch. However, since I've got it home, it's not as good as I thought it was. But it's still, it's still good. I can maybe do some decorating on it to make it a bit better. Um, um, you got a witch? Yes, I've got a witch. It's in a box in a cupboard. And I also bought a ghost. Hope you enjoyed. Ah. Uh, well, Gary the um, ghost. Ah. Uh, yes, I bought Gary the ghost. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. No more, no more. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Like, subscribe. Bye bye and comment. Lala. 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 And share. Yeah, if you share with anyone that's sort of interested in Halloween stuff and buying Halloween stuff, Lala. it saves it will save you guys. Don't dislike the video. If you look at the video you'll be able to see what's going on in it, right? Bye bye. Ah. Oh my god, it's too nice. No no no. <laughs> bye bye bye. <laughs>